Well, as you can tell from this angle, there's a little bit more work that needs to be done. The dial pointer light is out. And I can tell you that this is a nightmare of a job. So I'm going to describe what I've done to this point. My camera battery went dead, so. I had to charge this and I didn't want to waste the opportunity to work on it. So remove the dial glass. And there's a little, there's this plate that sits underneath, underneath here, right? So this had to be fished out, which was a pain in the ass, right? And then this little grounding wire is a part of this assembly. So it was just kind of a, it's a nightmare to change this. And I'm still trying to work my way through exactly how to get the pointer, which is right there, into a spot where I can change the lamps. These break, if you look at them wrong, they just snap. And I cannot go any further than that right now. So what I am thinking that I need to do is in order to, I'm trying to, Sorry, this is real horrible, I know. I'm trying to get a good angle on this. So what I need to do is get that, see where that blue blob is right there? I need to somehow get this, I think, to, I don't know, you, you can't see it, but this is the, here it is. So where the tip of my nail is, is kind of the, the piece of metal that it slides on. So if I can get it to a point where I can release it from the dial cord, I might be able to just slide it off and pull it, pull it out and then replace it. But man, if you ever come across one of these with, um, with the dial pointer out, uh, good luck to you because it's a chore. I mean, this is like a good two hour job. Um, yeah. So, and I don't know of an easier way to do it. I even went to audio karma and looked around and no one had any real good advice for it, so. Anyway, uh, that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to shut the camera off because I don't need to burn through a bunch of battery and memory uh, filming me fighting with this. Plus, I'd have to bleep out every other word because it's going to suck. So, anyway, I'll uh, finish up after I get that replaced. All right, so that actually wasn't uh, all that bad. I was able to, to break the paint on the dial cord, just kind of... Loosen it up and then I just popped, popped this right off, but kind of fishing it out behind was a little tricky. So I think it's going to be easiest to um, do this from the bottom of the, of the receiver. So I'm going to remove this tape. And, oh man. And I want to do this without breaking, without breaking that. So basically what I'm going to do is try to, I'm going to have to figure out how to get into, looks like there's a tab here. The lamp's in there, so I think maybe, and again, man, you got to be super careful because that thing will break really easily. I may have to just, here we go. Use my fingernail. And it's just, I don't have a lot of wire for this. We have to do, oh, it looks like this one too. Gosh, how do you do that without breaking something? Okay, so I'm going to remove this other tab, see if I can slide this cover off and then figure out. I think that's an 8 volt lamp. I thought that's what I saw. So, conceptually, you kind of know what I'm going to do, so see if I can do this without destroying that pointer. Gosh, there we go. I mean, what were they thinking? They were probably thinking, well, this won't go out for 30 years and we won't care at that point. We have it. 
Okay, so now I got to figure out how this is uh, how this is put together. I think I don't know what that is. Huh. Okay, so it looks like I can pull the bulb, bulb lamp, the lamp. You know what? Oh, this comes out. Yes. Let's eliminate this from. From the scene. Let's remove that from the scene. Okay, little rubber mounting thing there, and there is the lamp. And it is stamped or etched with a volt and 500 milliamps. I think, or no, 50 milliamps. It's 0.05. And I have tons of those. So, and this is not a weird size or tiny lamp, so this should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and that's just held on with a little piece of wire as well. Or actually, it's a piece of metal. What I'm trying to do is get to this where the. Well, I can just run it through. I'll just run it through. Okay, so I'm gonna snip this. Holy smokes, I just lost my hole. Oh my gosh. I put a monitor up here so I could look up schematics and I've had to uh, kind of condense my space where I keep all my tools. And I just pulled the whole thing off the wall. All right, so clip that like so. Easy peasy. All right, so everything, my soldering iron's warming up. I'm going to, I'm going to run that through and um, I'll come back around when I'm done. Unless I, unless something interesting happens. All right, here it is. Man, what a weird one this was. Um, so all the lamps are done. You can see stereo tuning beacons working. It's tuning in stations. All the indicator lights are working. Um, bizarre, right? Um, somebody put fuses in for the lamps. Uh, let me leave it on while I talk. It's kind of a cool display. Uh, fuses in for the fuse lamps for the dial. Um, and then this dial pointer um, replacement, sorry, trying to, dial pointer replacement was, uh, the worst I've ever done, <laughs> and I've done, like, Yamahas, where you gotta get the polarity correct on the wires and all that stuff, I mean, this was just unnecessarily complicated, so, anyway, this is done, it's been cleaned up, no real adjustments on this to do, um, listen to it in the garage for a little bit, pulling in stations, great, I mean, it's, uh, it's a good receiver. So anyway, this one's headed for the shop. So as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.